last video that I made, I finished up showing you guys how to do a do now um, with the look at the economy there. So what I'm going to show you guys from packet three this time is uh, how to complete an ancient crafts essay. So obviously clicking on that on Canvas, and that'll pop on open here. And so um, it's the reading is at the top there, and it says, according to the article, how is the Zapotec culture being continued? Who is continuing it? And why might it be important to continue teaching this culture? Answer these questions in a five-paragraph essay. Remember to use your essay outline, Am I Done checklist, and essay strategies to help you start, write, and edit your essay. Good luck. So, obviously, I'm going to switch this over into student view. But, again, we know that we have our five-paragraph um, essay coming up there. So we know that there's a few things that we could do to practice those strategies to get started. So again, first thing that we could do again would be to create that outline, right, where we have the first paragraph being the intro, the last paragraph being the conclusion, right? I'm clicking the submit button because I'm going to start, uh, you know, typing in this text box uh, entry here if I'm going to make my outline. So I would know that the first paragraph would need to be the intro, then the second one would be body, third would be body, fourth would be body, and fifth would be conclusion, right? So in our introduction, if you remember from some of those strategies that I taught you, all of the questions that need to be answered uh, from this prompt, those are going to be your main idea statements under your introduction, right? So you know that it's asking us, how is the Zapotec culture being continued? So how is the culture continued, right? That would be one main idea statement. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that oopsie, as A, the first uh, statement thing that we have there, right? Now our second main idea statement, let's see what else it asks us. Who is continuing it? All right, well, then we need to talk about who is continu oop, continuing the culture, right? And then another main idea statement, another question that it's asking us, why might it be important to continue teaching this culture? So why teach the culture, right? So in your introduction, in your very first paragraph, you're going to introduce your reader <clears throat> to what it is that we're even talking about here, right? Introduce the topic of this Zapotec culture. But then we're also going to be using these main idea statements that we pulled out of the questions from the prompt, right? Remember, all a main idea statement is, is a statement of the, the answers to the key questions that are being asked, right? So what I would do is I'd make my... I would make my uh, outline like this. I'd introduce the things that I'm going to be talking about. And then I'd remember, okay, well, after I introduce that in this first paragraph, my body paragraph one is going to be about um, how is the culture continued with details, right? Then the next body paragraph is going to be who uh, continues the culture with your details. And the last body paragraph is why um, continue. Ooh, I'm just struggling with typing today. Why continue the culture? Obviously, with our details again, right? So then the conclusion is just wrapping up what you already wrote, right? So hopefully, this will help you guys. Um, break down this essay a little bit, right? Again, you're going to have to go and click this link and read into this Zapotec culture um, and who it is that's continuing it and how they're doing that and why. Um, and then you can use those things, uh, that information from your article to plug into your essay. Now, again, the important thing to remember with one of the other strategies that I taught you is that when you see these question words like how or why, right, or what, Remember that those things are going to require at least three details or three ideas per thing, right? So if it's saying who is continuing it, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you tell me specifically who and then three reasons why, right? Or three ways how, okay? So make sure you pay attention to those question words because they will help you answer your essay.